everyone, so today I thought I would do a little kitchen tour for you. I'm always in here, I love to bake, and I'm always getting asked questions like, where's your table runner from? Where do you get your pots and pans from? So I thought I'd give you like a proper in-depth tour, and if you wanna see more pictures, there's a blog post to accompany this, so I'll link that down below for you. But I love this kitchen. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into this kitchen. We actually got the flat about a year ago now, and this was the first room that we did, that we kind of completed, and we really went for it. When we got it, it just wasn't really to our taste. It was quite a countryside-y kitchen almost. There was a lot of wood going on. And I still like a bit of wood, but not too much. I'll try and insert some pictures here so you can see what it looked like. But we basically ripped everything out. We started from scratch again and then got all of this put in. And I'm really happy with the end result. It's by far my favorite room in the flat. I am always in here and I just love it. I find it very peaceful. We've actually got these glossy gray cabinets and in the brochure they were called Dove Gray. I was all over that. I was like, yep, yeah, that's perfect. The wood surfaces are bamboo and I like them. However, with wood surfaces, they're just not the most hardy, like longest wearing. They get a bit scratched up, although Mark is really into oiling them and sanding them and doing all that. So he keeps them in good nick. But yeah, I'm gonna show you around. I'm gonna give you a little tour of what's inside the fridge, a mini cookbook tour and kind of show you in a couple of the cabinets as well. But I think we're gonna get started with Mark's Corner. So this is what I like to refer to as Mark's Corner, basically because it's the coffee making corner. I don't know how to use this, even though I was a barista for like two years of my life in my student union. I've forgotten everything that I learned there. So he just makes all the coffee, he grinds all the coffee. I have no idea what either of these two things actually are. Actually, this is Julia. I got this for his birthday a couple of years ago, so I do know what this is. This is a new edition which he purchased. And actually, anything that I can link, I will link down below if possible. So there might be some links down there. There might not if I can't find things. And then we've got a strange thermostat. And then this is his Bose sound system, which he loves, and he plays like Radio 4 on it all the time. Now this is our mini little dining area, and it's actually one of my favorite spots to work from. And basically everything is John Lewis. The table runner is John Lewis, the table mats are John Lewis, the coasters are John Lewis, the napkins are John Lewis. I love a bit of John Lewis. Although this little vase, I get asked about this a lot, is from Habitat, and it was literally a tenner. Such a bargain and really nice for quite low arrangements i really like fresh flowers always got a couple of fresh flowers in here got these kind of dead roses at the moment the lights are from ikea we really like light fittings like interesting different light fittings and these were an absolute bargain they've got a really cool cord on them it's like black and white i think they look very cool and then the chairs are from i think a place called lakeland furniture and my auntie and uncle like them so much they just went and bought them and then this picture we really wanted to get art on the walls that was like meaningful to us and meant something. So it's actually from Oliver Bonus and it's a really, really old map of London. I'm not sure it's got the year on it, but basically it's got our old road on it. So where we used to live on London is on this map. So it's just kind of a nice reminder of our crazy time in London back when we were cool. So when we were planning out the kitchen, there was a really weird space here. Basically you couldn't fit a cabinet in, it was too skinny. And so they suggested turning it into a little cookbook corner, which I'm so happy they did because I love cookbooks. You guys know I love my cookbooks. And I've actually almost filled every single shelf, even though I haven't had it that long. I'm just a bit addicted to buying them. And I thought I would show you some of my current favorites. Obviously the Clean Eating Alice, the Body Bible. That is a fab one. I've been going on about that loads. Get the Glow, Madeline Shaw. In fact, both of the Madeline Shaw ones I love. And then obviously the Lean Machines. I mean, this, this is like stuck together from where I have used it so much. But this is one of my favorites, especially for dinners. There's so many good dinners in that one. A Modern Way to Eat by Anna Jones. I've got some veggie friends coming on Friday and this is a really good veggie cookbook. A real like show stoppery veggie cookbook in that everything is quiet. It just looks very impressive. <laughs> and then from the bottom, I'm using this one a lot recently, the Eat Drink Paleo cookbook that I mentioned in my 10 things I'm loving right now. Been using this a lot this week. We used the macadamia nut fish and chips recipe last night. It was delicious. I'm very excited to eat the leftovers. And then in terms of what are in these, they're just like baking random things that kind of don't really fit into anywhere else. But I do love this. This is like one of my favorite bits. You ready? Whoa! <laughs> so this central bit is the most used part of the kitchen when I'm actually cooking and baking. It's got most of our like plates and cutlery and cups, all that kind of stuff. All of the pans are in these drawers behind me, all of like the dry foods. I've got like a little spice cupboard up here. Ooh. So this is where it really happens, but I thought I'd quickly talk through what we've got out. I mean, toasters and kettles and stuff is quite boring, but this is the Imaginix Compact 3020XL. Not the snappiest name, but by far the best thing that I purchased for the kitchen. 
I use it literally two times a day, if not three times a day. I've already used it once today, had to wash up, put it back. But it is so good, it's so strong, and if you're gonna invest in something in your kitchen, food processor is where it's at. A couple of other things I really like here is this. This is just like a glass, fake marble chopping board. It cost me £10 from Burt's Homeware in Brighton. If you ever come to Brighton, go to Burt's Homeware because I got this. And also those turquoise spoons you see behind me. It's a great place, these. I love my turquoise silicon spoons. Like, I know that's a really old granny thing to say, but they're very good spoons. Um, a couple of other things, we've got a kettle, we've got a teapot, and then we've got a Nietzsche bullet. And I have to say, I'm not a big fan of the Nietzsche bullet. I think once you have something as strong as the Magimix, the Nietzsche bullet just seems a bit lame. I put some frozen pineapple in it yesterday and it just could not hack it, it just was not happening. So I would definitely say get something like a food processor that kind of doubles up as a smoothie maker anyway, rather than something like that. When we were designing the kitchen, one of the more expensive things to put in were drawers, but we really wanted some pan drawers, and I'm so happy that we've spent the extra money on them because they're so nice, it's so lovely to be able to just like have it out, there are your pans, and then this, which is our hidden cutlery drawer. That just makes me so happy every time. People are like, where are you? Where are your spoons? Where are your forks? They're in my hidden cutlery drawer. <laughs> right, time for a little fridge tour. This really reminds me of cribs. They used to do this on cribs and always have like really fancy things inside. Mine's not so fancy, but I did actually do a food shop this week, so there is actually food in here for once. But on the top, I just keep my dairy and some eggs. In the middle, I've got some things I've made, like this is leftover cold slaw from last night's dinner. I've got some of my apple sauce going on. You guys know that I love like that. I finished up my birch and usually this morning. I've got some yogurt. This is from last night's dinner as well. That's that herb crusted fish and chips that I was telling you about. Sweet potato fries. Mmm, that was good. Then I made some lunch for me and Lauren. And it's a raw pad thai that is extremely garlicky. Can you see that? Oh my god, it's pretty garlicky. <laughs> and oniony. <laughs> then I've got a bit of meat down here, got some dressings. Mark's got some beer. On this side, I've got some beef cocoa. I like the one with pineapple. Lily's mum made this amazing smoothie that had watermelon and pineapple like frozen with coconut water and I've been trying to recreate it. It tasted so good. And then I've got some lemon limes and then some juices, got milk, water, another beer. Like I don't even know what this beer is. I think this is one of Mark's homemade ones. And then I've got a bit of veg going on. Mark was very impressed this week with the veg situation. There's a lot of veg going on in there. I won't bore you with the contents of my freezer. That concludes the kitchen tour. That is it, I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I said, everything that I've mentioned that I can find online, I will link down below. And if not, drop me a little question in the comments and I'll try my best to get back to you. And don't forget to check out the blog post because there are more pictures there and more words and just generally more. But thanks for watching and I'll see you soon with a brand new video. Bye.